Let's go upstairs to Ron Mullis for the live call of the Presque Isle Mile. They're off and running in the Presque Isle Mile. Viva Lad, decisive moment as early speed on the rail and rise up from the far outside. Abraham right up in between those two. And are you kidding me right now along the rail? So they make their way into the first turn. It's decisive moment on the inside. Rise up on the outside. Those two are hooked together. Third belongs to Abraham. Viva Lad's down along the rail. Then a gap of two. Are you kidding me? And Ghost Hunter, they run together as a team. Two links in front of Florida One. Then Midnight Chuck and page me and Ali's event is a trailer 24 flat is a quarter as they make their way up the back stretch and rise up is the leader has it by two and a half lengths decisive moment along there in second Abraham and Viva Lad those two run together are you kidding me now ghost hunter in Florida one moving well a gap of two to midnight cello Ali's event and the trailer is page me to the far turn after a quick half in 47 and three and to the far turn rise up Continuing to show the way. Decisive moment. Now applying some pressure. Viva Lad right down along the inside. Abraham is moving well. Are you kidding me? He's moving well with Ghost Hunter. Midnight Cello a bit wide and Florida One up and behind them. At the top of the stretch, rise up in decisive moment. Those two still hanging tight. Two together. Are you kidding me? Way out in the middle of the track. And Midnight Cello. Are you kidding me? Midnight Cello. Decisive moment. Florida One down along the rail to the outside. Midnight Cello. Florida One right up the inside. Florida One up the inside. And Florida One won the mile. Midnight Cello was second. Close for third. Looked like decisive moment. But it'll take a photo. Florida One for Live Oak Plantation. And trainer Mark Cassie is going to make it back-to-back -back wins in the Presque Isle Mile. And look in the green hat, white and red silks. That is Patrick Husbands aboard the five in Florida One who has absolutely nowhere to go. He's waiting for room. He had nowhere to go towards the outside. He has to be patient here, and hopefully somebody drifts off the rail. That happens to be your pace setter rise up, and then Patrick Husbands gets the split and has enough horse to send him on through. And the 10 midnight cello, he already got the jump on him because he was wide and in the clear. It's just... Uh, where Patrick Husband's sort of rolling the dice down on the inside. You really don't know if you're going to get through and if you're going to be able to find an opening. Luckily for him, he did, and he makes it back-to-back -back wins here in the Press Isle Mile with jockey Patrick Husband's for Mark Cassie. Unofficially across the line, it's 5-10 and a photo for third. 5-10 and a photo for third over at Press Isle. 2-1 over 5-2 to, to complete your exacta.